no government or social system is so evil that its people must be considered as lacking in virtue. But we can still hail the Russian people for their many achievements in science and space, in economic and industrial growth, in culture, in acts of courage. Our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this small planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's futures, and we are all mortal. For in the development of this organization rests the only true alternative to war. And war appeals no longer as a rational alternative. For a nuclear disaster spread by wind and water and fear could well engulf the great and the small, the rich and the poor, the committed and the uncommitted alike. Mankind must put an end to war, or war will put an end to mankind. It is therefore our intention to challenge the Soviet Union, not to an arms race, but to a peace race, to advance together, step by step, stage by stage, until general and complete disarmament has been achieved under the eyes of an international disarmament organization, a steady reduction in force, both nuclear and conventional, until it has abolished all armies and all weapons, except those needed for internal order and a new United Nations peace force. And it starts that process now, today, even as the talks begin. Never have the nations of the world had so much to lose or so much to gain. Together we shall save our planet or together we shall perish in its flames.